The challenge area that we focused on was promoting the consumption of dairy by students in Wisconsin. The way we planned on attacking this was incorporating dairy into gaming because of how prevalent gaming is with children today. In order to figure out what kind of game and the platform we wanted to deliver it on, we surveyed over 300 parents on Facebook and our personal networks. From there, we determined from our results that a mobile gaming platform would be the best way to deliver this. The gap area that our idea addresses is between decreased dairy consumption in students, specifically focusing on grades K through 8, and the use of online games in those ages. We plan to address this gap area through encouraging the consumption of dairy products, specifically milk, at schools through an online game. This will pair with a barcode that is currently located on the school milk 8 ounce cartons of all varieties of milk, and this barcode will be in the shape of a cow. The way it would work is the players would scan the barcode and either receive an item or an advantage against the other players in the game who do not scan as many barcodes, thus providing an incentive to drink more milk. Competitive landscape and key differentiator. During our research, we found that there is no true competitor in a competitive landscape for a game which not only is directly correlated with milk consumption, but also provides an educational aspect. There are, however, games with similar educational intentions and internal structures, such as Farmville, Farming Simulator, and Minecraft. Although they have similarities to what we are trying to achieve with the development of this game, our key differentiator is that we have a strict focus on education and nutrition. Desirability, feasibility, and viability. We envision this solution to be heavily desired not only by children, but by parents and dairy industry leaders as well. This would be due to the fact that children would be having fun and engaging within the game, Parents would be confident that their children are learning while also at the same time getting the proper nutrients that they need, and dairy industry leaders would see an increase in sales due to the increased demand from parents and children. The solution would be very feasible because it would entail only minor tweaks to an already existing barcode on fluid milk packaging within schools and could easily be incorporated within a game that is already up and running such as Farmville, Farming Simulator, or Minecraft. We predict that this would be a very viable option to encourage fluid milk consumption due to the fact that we could get teachers and parents to endorse this game by providing them with additional information on how the game works, its benefits, and the advantages to its use. Sustainability. This would be a very environmentally friendly way to endorse consumption of fluid milk within schools due to the fact that we are not increasing waste by tweaking an already incorporated barcode within fluid milk packaging. We also see this as a solution to help encourage recycling by incorporating it and its benefits within the gameplay. In order to continue the development of our proposed solution, we determined that we need to work with a game developer such as Zynga and a milk packaging company like Kemp's. We believe that our idea would create a solution for both of them. In terms of Zynga, their famous games Farmville is getting discontinued from Facebook and moving to a mobile app where we would provide them a new user base. And for Kemp's, with the popularity of our game, it will increase their sales as more cartons of milk will be sold. The timetable that we see this happening is three to six months to develop the game and then four to six weeks after that to test it on a few schools and to see the success before rolling it out. To summarize everything, we were given the challenge of how to promote the consumption of dairy for students in Wisconsin. And after ample research, we decided to incorporate dairy into gaming as the best way to achieve this. From there, we looked at the gap area, which we saw as the decrease of consumption of milk with online gaming. And when we looked at the competitive landscape, we saw that our competitors were few and far between and were lacking that educational value that we were providing. When looking at the DFV, we saw that this would be desired by not only the children playing the game, but the parents because of the educational value we're providing and the dairy industry who would see an increase in sales of milk. We saw this as feasible through existing apps such as Farmville or Farming Simulator. 
And we saw this as viable because teachers could insert this in their curriculum and students would be able to work on this at school and at home. In terms of sustainability, we saw that we could have sustainable practices within the game, teaching kids how to recycle and what sustainable practices farmers use. And finally, with execution, we determined that working with a company such as Zynga with their already established game and a milk packaging company could really achieve the goals that we wanted. Thank you.